Hello, hello, hello. Here we are with a new up close detail series video. Here we are looking at the beautiful butterfly loafers by, by Graziat uh, from Taipei. Some of the most lovely shoes I have encountered. Very unique, very beautiful, extremely well made. So let's take a look at some of those details. <clears throat> First and foremost, you can notice the beautiful patina that he called Mysterious Lake, which is a very deep, elegant, dark teal with some lighter hues in there. Beautiful color. Teal can sometimes be challenging to wear if it's too light, but this darker teal is going to be a lot more easier. Uh, you can see the <clears throat> very unique cut of the butterfly, which I want to say that Graziat was the one of the first to do. I can't recall if another maker did something very similar, but <clears throat> it's very distinctly theirs right now, why everybody normally has a rounded butterfly. Uh, another real interesting feature before we start looking at all the things that everybody always wants to look at is the way this curves down from the higher inner side to the lower outer side. And that's because our ankle bone on the outside is usually lower than on the inside. It's a very smart detail right there because there's nothing worse than having your ankle hitting the sides of those panels because that is rarely a thing that breaks in easily and can be quite difficult to endure. So what Graziata has become so famous for is his beautiful quilted style soles. Not only are they quilted, but they're curved. Again, I've talked about this in my posts. This is so difficult to do and to get right. And if you mess up, well, let's just say you won't want to mess up because fixing it is a challenge. So his sole work is just phenomenal. He puts it also in this deep teal color with the waist being darker and the heel and the forefoot being lighter, giving a nice contrast there. Very beautiful sole work. As you can see, he's put some slight spade soles on that. This is not necessarily something he always does, but he did it for the sake of the shoe. Just to let you know, he is capable of it. Um, beautiful shape there. You've got a nice pitched heel with very elegant line leading from the heel to the forefoot. Nice balance. Nice, got a little notch, sorry, a little notch on the heel there. Uh, just to really give that definition between heel and waist. Beautiful beveled waist taken in quite narrow and a very deep fiddle back. It's quite high. So you can see all the handwork that goes into this. You also see the little squared off edges there on the toe point playing into the spade sole. Very fine, de oops, sorry, very fine detailed fudging on the welt there and very tight stitches per the inch. Let me show you can, there we go. Very tight stitches per the inch. Nice stuff. Very beautiful craftsmanship. A nice kind of soft chisel last there. Very on par with today's world. The soft chisel is <laughs> could be surpassing the round last at the moment as it seems to be the popular make of the time. You got the three-piece shoe trees. Let's see, for the sake of this video, let me see. I want to make things so long. The three-piece lasted, three-piece shoe trees for ultimate fit. Very nice lining. The signature, that's yeah. Beautiful stuff. You can see the, uh, the hand-welted dimples. Now, this is something I want to touch on. You see a little bit of dye spilled here on the upper, and I feel like some people complain about that, and to me it's the height of ridiculousness to do so. When you're, when you're painting by hand, it, it, you know, it's, it's nearly impossible to just be flawless. Dye is a very strong 
product, especially on lining, which is vegetable tan. So even the smallest drop is going to stain strongly. But it doesn't take away from anything. It shows you this was done by hand. It's as, as meticulous as they can be. Mistakes happen, but it doesn't take away anything from the shoe. So, you know, if you have a little bit of polish or dye on your lining, don't complain about it because it's changing absolutely nothing. Your sweat is going to wear that away faster than anything else anyway. So who cares in reality? I just wanted to touch on that because I know there's people who love to try to buy beautiful shoes like this and then tarnish it with the dumbest things. Man, great shape on this shoe. Leather is phenomenal quality. It says it's Venus leather. I can't recall which tannery that's from, but it's really soft and supple crust. It's great stuff. It's a phenomenal shoe. And Graziata is just doing some of the coolest things right now. I love his patinas. I love his colors. I love his aggressive, thought-out styles and details. I really love that sole. Phenomenal sole. So, yeah. These details are being hit at every point on this shoe without missing any. Very nice back seam there. Very clean. Nice pitch sole. Uh, excuse me, pitch teal. Beautiful work. Definitely keep your eye out for Gatsia. He is a phenomenal artist, and I really love everything that he's doing. Thank you, as always, for tuning in. Do stay tuned for more.